let's talk about why paying attention to report design is important and how can you benefit from it. When it comes to report design, paying attention to its visual aspects is crucial because by doing so, you can find the following benefits. Number one, improved user experience. Your users will find it easier to navigate and understand the report, and this will help them find the information they need more effortlessly. Number two, better data storytelling. A well-designed report will present data in a compelling manner that helps convey the intended message and supports data-driven decision-making. Number three, engaged report users. An aesthetically pleasing report will help capture a user's attention, and this will make them more likely to interact with the data and extract meaningful insights. And number four, modern aesthetics. A visually pleasing report will reflect professionalism and attention to detail, and this will enhance the credibility of the information that is being presented. As we discussed in the planning video, it is essential that you define the intended use and main purpose of the report. When you do that, consider these following questions. Will your report be a daily driver for data-driven decision-making? Or will it be used in meetings where additional insights need to be extracted on the fly? Will it be used in yearly investor reports, board meetings, or marketing activities? The visual and technical complexity of the report will depend on its intended use. The next step is to define your data story. Identify the questions that need to be answered and consider any additional information required to narrow down those questions. And once you've got that figured out, you can start thinking about the layout of your report. Here are some things you should keep in mind. So firstly, determine the canvas size for desktop and mobile versions of your report. For desktop, we suggest Full HD because this is the format in which the majority of media is being consumed today. So here we can compare what you get from Full HD in terms of Power BI report real estate for crisper looks and more detail compared to what Power BI default gives you. I'd say it's quite the difference. Make sure you plan the layout of your report based on typical reading patterns, so left to right and top to bottom. As I have illustrated here, user focus tends to fade the further right and bottom they tend to go. So make sure you answer all the most important questions on the top left, and once the user has been engaged, you can fill out the rest of the report with complementary metrics and filters on the right and the bottom. Note that in some regions, reading patterns go the opposite directions. So if that is the case, adjust if necessary. When designing layouts, remember that less is often more. Avoid overcrowding and excessively busy reports as this can mislead users. Aim for clean and organized visuals that facilitate understanding. Make sure you pay attention to spacing and alignment, which form the backbone of a clean looking report. Let the report breathe, group related visuals together, and maintain consistent alignment. As an illustration, we've added these alignment markers which help us be consistent. And now, choose appropriate fonts and colors. If required, stick to corporate fonts and ensure they are available to all users in order to avoid fallback fonts that may alter the looks of your report. Use text and colors to emphasize the importance of the data. For example, in our report, the KPI values are the largest texts, making them easier to read. And maintain consistency in sizing throughout the report. For example, in our report, the KPIs are one size, the titles are one size, and the value labels are one size, making it easy to determine which is which. Establish a suitable color palette. Use corporate or brand colors for a more professional look. Assign meaningful colors for more intuitive readability, for example, red for negative values and green for positive values, as we have done in this report. You can also utilize color generators for assistance. There are plenty of free tools online. And maintain consistency in color usage throughout the report, meaning the same color should retain the same meaning throughout the entire report. When building your report, consider using a custom Power BI theme for easy application of colors and more. 
We will cover this more in the Power BI report building video. Employ light and dark themes when necessary. Note that while some people may enjoy dark themes, light themes are useful for specific conditions such as bright projector screens. Also, you can add an informational overlay to your report to explain some basic aspects to your users. For ideas on how to implement these things, you can head to our free report sample gallery to download free samples. As a popular topic, AI-generated designs for reports and dashboards might look amazing, as you can see, but often fall short in terms of usability. So we would suggest you use AI-generated designs as inspiration for color palettes or other visual aspects. For now. Now, let's discuss various design tools, ranging from basic to advanced options. Built-in Power BI shapes can create a clean and modern look. However, they may interfere with selections and can get misplaced in Power BI Desktop. Depending on your preference and design team support, utilize tools such as PowerPoint, Adobe XD, Photoshop, or any other tool you are already familiar with. External design tools offer precise positioning and sizing, allowing for easy replication into Power BI. This means that you can easily copy the dimensions and position of certain elements directly into your report. These tools provide flexibility for incorporating fancy design options when needed. You can also export your design as an SVG, which will result in a very small file size and will not affect the performance of your report. And finally, a simple calculator can be a very useful tool when accounting for positioning, alignment, and the dimensions of all the elements into your report. To make things easier, some tools offer ready-made grid systems for you to follow when designing your layout. For complex reports requiring multi-page or bookmark navigation, adopting an app-like user interface is recommended. So for example, here we have some simple page navigation buttons and a more sophisticated menu that includes both internal and external links. And lastly, don't give up before trying. Although it may initially seem complicated, if you keep building new reports while remembering the things we talked about on this video, you will be rewarded with an improved user experience. If you found this video helpful, consider following our other social media channels for more drill down report related content.